you toured with the, the, the Jackson 5, didn't you? Way oh back when. God. How long were you touring with the Jackson 5? This was you and the Commodores, of course. Me and the Commodores, and I was actually still in college at the time. I was still actually a college student. We went out with these kids for two and a half years. Two and a half years? And I must tell you something. For the longest time, I actually thought Michael and his brothers were midgets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I'm not, they, they, because they act like little kids backstage. But as soon as they walk up the steps onto the stage, they turn into full-grown entertainers. Like seasoned professionals. Seasoned killer, little kid could spin around, slide off to the side, they could dance, sing, everything. Jacket over the, over the shoulder, the whole, the hat. Every move, yeah. Every move was stellar. And then when they came off? Came off stage, you had itching powder in your hat. <laughs> you had ice in your shoes. <laughs> they would, oh, and let me tell you the, the funniest story ever. We're, just imagine now, we're in the hotel room. And they would play jokes on us, practical jokes. Just imagine, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, you're asleep in bed, and you hear, open the door, please open the door. It's me, Michael. It's me, Michael. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's me, Michael. It's me, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's what he still that's says. That's what like right? and, and naturally, Ronald LaPrade, the bass player, gets up and he opens the door. There's Jermaine with a trash can full of cold water. <laughs> And he throws it on Ronald. And of course, you can hear this blood curdling scream down the hall. <laughs> but these are the jokes that they would play all the time on us. So finally, we had a pillow fight. To, just to sort it out. We, we had, that's the only way you can get back at some kids. OK, come on. Come on, help me. Help me a little bit here. <laughs> and and we, we, we couldn't tell the parents, because this was over, you know, they would, it was always protect the kids, protect yeah. the kids. We wanted to wipe the kids yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> so a pillow. couple of rocks in the pillow. Right, yeah. so, so now, they had a great little thing they would do. They would put the kids, meaning Michael and, and uh, Marlon, up front. And then we couldn't hit them, so you had to block. And then Jackie would wipe you out. Yeah, yeah. So finally, I can say in my entire career, I knocked Michael across the room, <laughs> broke a lamp. I'm telling you, he flew. I, I really thought I heard him badly. <laughs> He stayed on the floor the entire time, wiped him out. Well, <laughs> I suppose we should offer some sort of congratulations. Yeah. Yeah.